Hey YouTube, welcome to the Off-Grid Mountain Homestead. Today's video, I'm going to show you what I'm adding to my beehives. Um, these little entrance gates, entrance discs, whatever you want to call them. A four-way entrance disc. This particular uh, brand here, I have a link on it in the description, but this one is a larger size. They make them like two and a half inches, and this one's right at five inches. I think it's like 4.9, something like that. So it's a swivel entrance gate so you can uh, you got a blank off plate full open queen excluding and ventilation so i added these uh little boxes here don't mind this hole i'm gonna block that off but added these top boxes so i can use them for winter feeding and for ventilation stuff like that uh so on and so forth but anyhow i wanted a, a source of ventilation for summer and winter so the air can can flow through the hive a little better since it's so humid here um so i mainly got these for the ventilation uh, ventilation portion you can see you can just turn it whatever direction you want and these are galvanized so you know should hold up for years and years in the weather but you can go you know full open queen exclude blank off whatever you want so i thought these would be quite handy with our uh, beekeeping adventures for our apiary so uh, i've got two I've got one on that eight framer up there and this 10 framer here that was somebody handmade this one and uh so i'll show you i left one to show for demonstration purposes. So I'll show you what you need and we'll look at the disc a little in a little more detail and uh, show you exactly how to put these on. It's real quick, real easy. And the first shot, of course, was a 10 frame. This is an eight frame. I'm just, I'm centered it in the board and it's gonna make it on these eight frames. It's got a taller, taller top cover on it. And if you, uh, you know, if you center it up, it's gonna make the hole a little offset from the top but it's such a large a large opening even with that cover on there i mean you still have over an inch of opening for the bees so that's that's no problem at all i like the aesthetic look of it being centered cross planed on the box if you will so i'm centering it even though the holes are under the cover and if you don't like that i'll show you to fix that too so if you don't like the way it looked with the cover on let me show you one more time if you don't like it like that all you got to do is take your feeder box your additional box on the top flip it upside down and there you go you got your opening on the bottom but I'm not really going to use it for for an entrance for now just more ventilation so I prefer the ventilation close to the top but you know it doesn't matter what are you going to need well of course you're going to need a beehive uh, you don't have to use this top box like I've got you can actually put them right into your your honey super or your brood chamber whatever your personal preference is like I said I'm going mainly for ven ventilation so I'm putting it on this little additional boxes I built. So you'll need the beehive, of course. You'll need the entrance gate, entrance discs. So there's a closer view of it, galvanized steel. So it's pretty thick. You can see right there, that'll hold up for probably longer than the hive will. You'll need some three quarter inch pan head style uh, lath screws. These are for, you know, putting metal, metal lath on the wood and stuff like that. But these work great for just generic, you know, around the homestead wood screws. So I'll be using those three quarter lengths perfect cause the lumber is three quarter deep. And with the little spacing, works out fine, no point. You'll need a batter drill or impact gun, tape measure, hole saw. That's the inch and three quarter hole saw. It works out perfect for the opening on the entrance gate, entrance disc. You'll need a marking device and a Phillips uh, bit driver. All right, so I'm just go and take your cover off. You can work the box on the hive or off the hive. Since we're on the hill, it's very ergonomic just to leave it on this hive. So this box is 14 wide and six and a half tall. So I'll come across, make a mark at seven. And then we're six and a half tall, so it'll be three and a quarter this way. And that's gonna be dead center for us right there. And then get your three quarter screw. You got your center point right there. So I'm gonna punch a screw in right there. Remove the screw back out, so we already got our center hole punched. And if you look at this cover, it's got a little finger grip that points out, so make sure it's pointing out. And so these screws actually work out perfect. So then just line up to your hole, put it on there. Don't put it too tight to start with. And then mark where you want your hole, whether you want it here or here, the sides, your personal preference, it don't matter. Whatever floats your boat, I'm gonna make it look as level as possible. I'm gonna take my marking device. I'm gonna make a circle for this hole and then remove this assembly again. And then I'll measure 
center point on that. This is inch and three quarters across, so our center point is going to be seven eighths. So I'm going to go seven eighths this way, and then flip it around, and then go seven eighths the other way from the edge, of course. If I can get her lined up right here, pretty close. There we go. And that should be our center point for our pilot bit on the hole saw. And you can, right, so we got our pilot hole marked. Got our trusty death hole saw here. So I'm gonna take this off, put it on the ground for stability. You rest your hole saw on the edge. That kind of helps you get to your center line. It's gonna be hard to see this on camera, but get your pilot assembly. I'm looking down through the, the gullets on the hole saw, making sure my pilot is dead in the middle of them crosshairs I drew. Then I will run it in there and check. And then just put it back on your high for your workstation. And then get your puck with your screw. Just put it in finger tight to start with like this. And then uh, get your trusty screw driving device. Gently. You don't want it too tight. If it's too tight, you can back off the screw just a little bit, but there you go. And throw your cover back on. And there it is. I said if it's too tight, just back that off just a smidge. Put ventilation mode, queen exclude mode, you know, whatever you want. But for now, it's going to be closed. So, hope you enjoyed that. Simple little uh, DIY project for your apiaries. Real easy to do. Appears to be a quality uh, entrance disc, entrance gate. Uh, you know, they make them smaller, you know, just your personal preference. I want the bigger ones for more ventilation due to our humid climate. But, uh, you know, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope I hope I could help you out a little bit with this. But uh, if you don't mind, hit that like button, questions or anything, put them below in the comments. If you're not subscribed, I'd greatly appreciate a subscription from you. Thank you for watching the Off-Grid Mountain Homestead. Hope you all have a nice day.